So in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to SQL Server Express, which is a local uh, instance of a SQL Server uh, on your own machine. And so this is this is different ultimately from what you might encounter in a in a business or a corporate environment where they have their own SQL Server um, and they all uh, you know they've configured the connection, the server name, and all that sort of thing. Um, so for SQL Server Express, um, again a local instance on your own machine, uh, the server name uh, uh, syntax or format is really your computer name backslash SQL Express. And so typically, right, when you have this on your own machine, um, the, the server name will be displayed by default. Um, it's possible, I've seen it, uh, where it's not. Um, and then if you were to ever lose this in the future, right, um, you, it might appear in the drop down box. Um, so that, you know, those are some easy ways maybe, you know, to get connected right out the gate. You don't really need to pay attention. Uh, but it is good to know that this is a computer name backslash SQL Express, because if it if you are ever in the position where you need to to figure out what is my server name, uh, then you'll have to start, you know, exploring, uh, exploring Google on, on, on how this works. And the, ultimately, that's the purpose of the video is how, you know, how would I know how to do this uh, without uh, if, if it were blank. And so Again, it starts with your computer name. You'll see that my username here is actually the same as my computer name. So, uh, you know, for this for the, for for this video, it is it is uh, equivalent. But there are um, uh, th I was on a remote machine, and there th that isn't necessarily the the syntax of the the Windows authentication uh, uh, fields. So, to, and basically, the simplest way to to find your computer name is to just go to your file explorer. Right, and you're going to have this PC um, on your on the on the um, on the toolbar on the left, the navigation pane on the left. You'll right click, so we'll right click my, this PC. You'll go down to properties. You're going to see various information about you know your processor, your RAM, etc. But you do see that the computer name here. Um, is given. And so it's desktop dash, this is going to be different for everyone. Um, but the, you know, this is my particular computer name, which is where my SQL server uh, express instance will be located. And so I'm going to, uh, unfortunately, you can't copy and paste out of that. So you have to, you know, pull up notepad or something and, and, and transcribe it. Um, but because it's listed here, I'm just going to supply desktop slash and I three. To UQ and then backslash. So it's a backslash, not a forward slash, SQL Express. Okay, and then I'm going to connect. And you'll see that I am connected to uh, my SQL Express instance on the on the in the object explorer. It shows the connection. It's got a green arrow. It's pretty small. I can't can't necessarily, you might not be able to see it, but uh, this is, we're, we're essentially connected. And so this is this is the way uh, to, to, to supply that field uh, if it's ever missing or you don't know how. Um, so again, it's computer name backslash SQL Express, and you can find your computer name by right-clicking on this PC uh, in your uh, file explorer, clicking on properties, and then your computer name is given uh, here. 